of the Easter, um, the Palm Sunday skit. Our boys are going to the children's church. Our young girls are going to the yellow room, all right? All right, so you are dismissed this time. Did I get that right? All right, thank you. Listen, we want to welcome those who are watching by way of internet on tonight, those who's watching from all around, both near and far. We welcome you to our service on tonight. We say that we love you, love you, love you so very, very much. And uh, we're so glad that you have uh, tuned in. Come on, let's welcome our internet audience tonight, y'all. I'm always shocked and I'm always surprised at people who will hit me up. They'll say they're watching and they're chiming in and, and we welcome you um, to watch our service and be a part of what God is doing here. And um, Just like we've sung in this song that God's presence is heaven. The Bible says that in his presence there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. And so we welcome you again to the Victory Christian Center Internet Service on tonight. We say God bless you. We love you. You are a tremendous group of people, and we're so glad that you have chimed in. Well, listen, tonight, y'all, we're going to do something very, very special. We, we've kind of been um, uh, we've kind of been back and forth with what we're going to do on tonight. And um, I, I want to welcome our visitors who are here in church with us tonight. God bless you. Uh, welcome our visitors. God bless you. Glad to have you. Glad to have you, sis, here with us tonight. Um, we um, got it, sis. Isn't my wife just a beautiful pregnant lady, y'all? I ain't seen a finer, sexier, good-looking, just bovacious pregnant woman on the planet of this earth. That ain't even good English, but on this planet earth. All right, all right. Glad, glad you're having all my babies. You, you my baby's mama, my, all of my baby's mama. Glad to have you. Listen, we just, of course, just celebrated our 17th year church anniversary. And um, what we like, what we generally like to do is the Wednesday after um, our church anniversary is take the time and just thank those in our church who've been a part of our church and made possible, um, possible, what is possible in our church. Um, you know, to make it to 17 years, um, it takes more than just a pastor and his wife takes the hard work of, of good people. Um, I, I wish I could memorize the Boy Scout thing. Um, um, Reverend, what, who in here was in Boy Scout? Y all, y all, who is, anybody was in Boy Scout? Faithful Reverend. Um, what's all this stuff? You, you don't remember it though? You don't remember the stuff? Committed, faithful, loving, kind, Reverend. Um, all, all of those, those adjectives that they use in that little thing they say in the Boy Scout, all of the people in Victory Christian Center, you guys meet that. You guys are faithful, you're committed, you're loving, you're kind, and we're so glad. I'm so glad that you're part of our church. I'm so glad that you're part of our ministry, and um, we want to just take this time tonight to you guys say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your commitment, your love, and your and just your faithfulness. Um, you you want you want to say something before we even just kick it to the next level? I too want to uh, join with my cousin and my pastor and say thank you to all of you feel a little bit um, like empty. I, I'm trying to come up to date, y'all, with the iPads and iPhones and all of that. I don't have my Bible. I'm trying to read off of my iPhone, so y'all work with me, okay? <laughs> trying to read my notes here instead of having, I'm sorry, I'm just a little bit old school. I'm used to having that Bible and those notes in my hand, but I'm coming up today. I just want to join in with Pastor and say thank you so very much for your dedication to the house of God, to God, to the kingdom, to us. It means so much to have people that love God and love others. We've uh, traveled some places. Um, oh my God! We've, we've been. <laughs> we've seen crazy church in our lives. Yes. We've seen some crazy church situations. Well, the both of us grew up in church, and yeah. then as pastors, we've been around for some people yes. fighting in church, stabbing each other, yes. bring, bringing guns, shooting, <laughs> shooting deacons. And I tell you all the time, if you stay in church long enough, I don't mean particularly this church, but if you stay in church long enough, you're going to run into some crazy folk because not everybody in church is delivered. Paul said not all men have faith, you know, and, you know, you if you be in church long enough, you run into some crazy saints. You run yeah. into some saints, some ain'ts, and some can'ts. <laughs> and um, if you hang around long enough. 
And uh, we've seen some crazy, yeah. crazy stuff in churches. One of the things that we really um, are grateful for is that in the 17 year of our church, we've never really seen any major drama, uh, any major drama in our church. Generally, this is what we have. Um, uh, this is what we've learned. I know I've learned this in pastoring is that people that are attracted to drama, they're not attracted to this church. I mean, how many of y'all know some people, they love churches with drama. They love environments and atmospheres with drama. And what we found out is that when people come here, either one of two things happen. Either they get delivered from the drama mm -hmm. or we run them away. <laughs> <laughs> now, we want everybody, but we find out that if you're full of drama, we just don't. What, what Mary J said, no more drama. We, if, if we find out that if, if, if you got a lot of drama, we do our best to pray you away. <laughs> if we can't get you delivered, we get you out. Look at your name and say amen. Drama is stressful. I, you know, drama is, I love sleeping well at night. I, I, I love sleeping, I love my sleep. I love sleeping well at night. And, and, and here's the thing, what we've learned. Because you, you heard Bishop Clark, he said something very profound on Sunday. And I want to challenge you, if you, didn't, if you didn't get a chance to hear his message, if, if, if you, if you, if you want to hear it again, you know, go and, and listen to it again. I know we have it on the YouTube channel, um, particularly his first message at the 930 service. He talked about how the oil flows from the top to the bottom. And one of the things we've learned is that if we don't have no drama in our own personal house, there'll be no drama in God's house. And so what we try to do is do our best, making sure there's no particular drama in our house so that when we come to the house of God, um, that's something we really, really don't have to worry about. We really, really don't have to deal with um, because I, j I just don't do drama well. I don't. I don't. I know a lot of people, they're attracted to drama. A lot of people, they love good, juicy drama. Um, me, I, it, it, it turns me in my stomach. I mean, it feel, makes me feel like I got a bad case of diarrhea when I'm around people who's attracted to drama. Um, that's, that's not my testimony. And, um, and, and in the 17 year history of our church, you know, we really, really kind of escaped that. And one of the things, too, that I'm grateful of, you know, the Bible says that a prophet um, is without honor in his own hometown or in his own place where he grew up in. You know, one of the things we're seeing here in our community is that God is kind of breaking that rule uh, with our church because God has given us a lot of favor, a lot of favor here in our community. Um, God is, you know, I, I haven't had to go and pastor in another city and pastor in another community and in, in another state. God has kind of given us favor in that area, and I'm very grateful of that. Um, you know, God is, you know, God many times break the rules to bless you. He'll break the rules to bless you sometimes, and you, you'll see that many times, and God will do that. And so I'm, I'm grateful that God is doing that here in our ministry. So let's thank God that there's no drama here at VCC, y'all. So listen, we've, we've had people, um, we've had people in our church um, for all numbers, all different types of, of lengths of time. Um, some of you joined our church this year, some of you joined our church last year, some of you within the last five years, some of you within the last ten years. Some of you, you've been here since, since generally since we almost began. Um, who in here, you, you was with us when we started in the elementary school? Any of y'all was with us? Okay, Brother Rufus, Sister Tanya. Um, sister, um, sister Tiki, um, okay, who was who was with us in the small building next door when you came over? All right, okay, wonderful. Who in here, you've been with us since we've been in this building right here? All right, okay, wonderful, wonderful. And, and so um, no matter when you came um, and at what length of time you're at a church, because a lot of times, you know, you get people, they become a part of an organization. They say, oh, I've been here the longest. I've been here. You know, I'm a, I've been grandfathered in. You know, I'm like a statue around here. You know, you, you ever been in environments like that? People, they like, I, you know, my name is on the pew. My name on the window, you know. Um, you know, I, I, you know, and they start glorifying all the stuff they done done in the church for the last 50 years. You know, but this is not that type of environment. One of the things you'll find out is this, is the way God works in the kingdom is that if you've been here even just five days, you still walk in the same grace of people who's been here for 15 years. And many times you, 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 you pick up an acceleration many times 
quicker than what people have, you know, because some of us, we really labored. Some of us, we put in hard sweat and equity and blood, sweat and equity to get to where we are. But some of you just, you've walked into this thing and, and God is, is, is favoring you and blessing you in a great way. And so we're grateful to God for all of you, no matter what length of time you, you are here. Um, listen, what we wanted to do is uh, before we, we we're just going to just share a few verses tonight. But before we even do that, we wanted to put together a, um, a little montage of the last 17 years um, of our ministry and um, let you guys see some pictures and some shots uh, from the. Yes, yeah, it's time. You might as well cover your head, girl. Uh, you're going to see some shots of people that in, in ways you haven't seen them in a while. And um, it's, it's, it's about 10 minutes, um, about a 10 minute montage of a video that you're going to see some great footage and some great shots of some wonderful, wonderful, excellent, um, special, um, powerful and anointed people. Um, and so if you're watching at home, if you're watching this video, you're going to see some great shots in a minute. And I promise you, you really, really are going to be blessed. You're going to see some stuff. My God, you're going to see some stuff. I re I should have put it out on Twitter and Facebook for everybody to chime in tonight because y'all y'all going to see some stuff tonight. We, uh, we, we've had, we had over 16,000 pictures taken in this church. 16,000. I, I know Sister Brenda, who else has taken, if you've taken pictures with a camera in this church, stand to your feet. It, um, 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 Sister Brenda, Deacon Steve, um, Cornisha, uh, Deacon George. Um, all right, we, we've had a number of people. Um, um, Shanice used to take pictures for us. She took about 5,000 pictures all by herself. We, we literally wore a camera out to flash no more. Right. Uh, I mean, it just, it just didn't flash anymore. She just wore it completely out. And um, some pictures, some people, some cameras, some people broke just by looking at them and smiling. And uh, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Uh, but we've had some wonderful, wonderful. We, we, and, and we've taken about sixteen thousand pictures. But we didn't, we didn't start taking pictures until about the fourth or fifth year of our church. Um, and so, you know, we would have got some of those first four years. My God, ain't no telling what y'all would have saw. So listen, we got a, a video. It's about ten minutes long. Um, let's check out some of these shots. And uh, we, we've, we've narrowed it down to just just um, a little over, um, I think 150 or something like that out of 16,000. So uh, y'all check out these shots and we're going to come back to y'all and um, read a few scriptures to y'all and just say thank you.
celebration. You're still saying. Because it doesn't matter what I'm going through. He's still.
us some time. But we're back for the new millennium. It's the VOU All Stars. We about to set it off up in here. Got the whole crew. We're gonna do it just like this, y'all. Cause we got the victory. Just make me happy. I don't know about y'all. And listen again, we th there's so many events and so many different things um, we wasn't able to. I mean, we, we I, I was looking at the pictures and 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 going through the, all the different pictures we have, and I mean, it's just so much stuff that God has allowed us to be able to do, and um, it's just really, really hard. Maybe I'll maybe one day put just about every event on YouTube so we can see. <laughs> Quite a bit of that stuff, so um, man, I think probably my most favorite picture. I'm, I'm a, I think I'm gonna blow it up one day. Is that picture of Nara <laughs> with her hair just just going everywhere when we went on our first <laughs> retreat, and she's sitting in the she chair. That uh, that's one of my favorite pictures of, of all and time. Cammy with no teeth. And Cammy with no teeth out there on the seesaw. <laughs> I think that's probably yeah. my favorite. And, yeah. and and of course Daniel with all the big yes. afros that he's had. I mean just. And the trips where people fall asleep. Trips where people fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. We good. definitely, definitely do that. We definitely yes. got to do that. So, yes. yeah, yeah. But we just wanted to take a moment tonight to uh, tell you all that we are so thankful to God for each of you. We, Pastor and I have seen many of you um, work so very hard in the kingdom of God, and not just, not just in this church, but you have sown so much into the kingdom of God that we could not pass this moment up without saying thank you. We know some of you will have sacrificed being in corporate worship to take care of our children, to teach our children. Some of you have sacrificed sitting at the feet of Jesus to serve other people. Right now, while you're sitting here, there are people working. There are people sowing into our children. And we, Pastor and I, we see that. And not only do we see that, God sees that. We want you to know that because you're connected to the body and you're faithful to the house of God, you're faithful and committed to the things of God, there are blessings that are stored up in heaven that are about to be unlocked over your life 
in your family's life because God sees every Amen. time you pick Amen. up a piece of paper. Amen. God sees every time you go to that bathroom and clean that bathroom. God sees every time you pick up a paintbrush. God sees every time you come to this altar and you intercede for people before they even get here. Amen. There are people before you even get here. There are people on this altar interceding for you, asking God to cover you, asking God to to cover your children, asking God for favor upon your lives, asking God to rebuke diseases off of your lives. And we see that. Not only do pastor and I see that, but God sees that. Amen. Amen. And we want to Amen. take the the moment. We want to stop. Through all the celebration, we want to say thank you. Because as the older generations used to say, you're sending up your timber. Anybody remember that? Yeah, you're yeah, sending up yeah. your timber. Sending you up are building timber. up. Yes. Don't make me sing it. <laughs> yeah. you're, 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 you're building a mansion, and you sometimes you may not even realize it. But we want to say thank you for putting your hands to the plow. Thank you for sacrificing of your time. Many of you drive from out of town. Many of you... It's, Sister Tanya, Sister Cindy, uh, many of you drive from, for many years you've been driving from out of town and spending, uh, sacrificing your time with your family for rehearsals and such, so forth. And God says, I see that. Right. God says he sees that. And he's going to bless you for that. If you're reading the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, it talks about there are many different gifts, many different talents, many different parts of the body. But each one of us have a, each one of our positions, each one of our, if you're an usher, if you're a worship and praise leader, if you're a sound person, each person is so very valuable to the kingdom. Right. And each person, your work is not going to go unrewarded. Right. The Bible says as you diligently seek God and work in his kingdom, you will find him. And everything else will be added unto you. Right. So we just want to sing on tonight, we see you that are the straight pins in the church. Those that don't go without uh, re recognition, mm -hmm. but you're always sacrificing and, and doing the things of God. We see you. Anybody got a clothes pin in you. here? Anybody got a clothes pin in your purse? Any ladies, y'all got a clothes pin in one. your purse? A Somebody straight got pin. one. A straight, straight pin. pin. With a straight pin. Somebody got a straight pin? You got I a straight pin? pin? All right. Somebody in here. Somebody real quick. She got to go out there and get it. Anybody in here, you got one real quick? I think I took mine out. Okay, you took yours out? I had a sewing kit. In my purse. Yeah, the sewing kit. Okay. It may be on my All desk. All right, you got one. All right, bring it up here. Bring it up here, Sean. Get bring it up. Real, you know, um, th th there was a workshop in Atlanta. I didn't go to, but I, I heard some of the um, the volunteers talk about it. Um, thank you, sis. Oh, that's okay. um, which what y'all say these called straight pins? No, those are safety pins. Okay. All right, the, these pins, um, you know, these pins they go unnoticed when you use them but they have a big valuable use. You know, holding things together, keeping things from yes. falling apart. And this is how it is in the kingdom of God. This is how it, in the, it is in the house of God. You know, you have a lot of people who are like these pins, who you really can't see the work that they do, but behind yes. the scenes, if they wasn't there, yes. everything will fall apart. Everything. And so we're thankful that, for, to God today, not only for the people that you see, because here's the thing we find out, we've learned, being in church a lot of people love to be seen yes a lot of people they just love to be seen a lot of people they love getting in the limelight for some reason I don't know why people are attracted to the limelight. a lot of people they love running to the limelight but this is what one thing I've learned is that when you read the Bible anytime God mightily used somebody it was always trying to run from the limelight Mm -hmm. Moses didn't want to be in the limelight. Joshua didn't want to be in the limelight. None of the disciples wanted to be in the limelight. They was mm -hmm. running and hiding. All of the people that God wanted to mightily use, they was running from the limelight. But in 2014, you got people trying to run up on stage and run to be the next big thing. But God is looking for people who will be the clothespin type, people who will pray behind the scenes, yes. people who will serve behind the scenes, people who will help. And so tonight, we are thankful for those type of people. Amen. And we're thankful for yes. Thank God tonight for the, the straight pen folk we got in the church. People who give and people who sow and yes. it ain't got to be announced and That's right. nobody has to know how much Never. they gave. And, and we're thankful to God for those type of people because you help to make a difference right. in everything we do in ministry. And, and, and so we're, we're grateful to God. I know I'm grateful to God for Amen. that. And so um, it's just grateful. a plus. It's, 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 a, it's a big bonus. Truly and so, um, But we got just a, 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 a few scriptures. Uh, one of the first scriptures we want to look at, and we thought of you guys. When, um, when we, we thought of these scriptures, Ephesians 1, verses 15 through 16. 
uh, Ephesians 1, verses 15 through 16. And um, I'll let my wife read it and, and kind of commentate on, on, on what this says. And the word of God reads here. For this reason, ever since I heard about our, your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people, I have not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. Let's go on to Colossians chapter 1. Colossians chapter 1, verse 3 through 6, it says, We always thank God, the Father of our Lord, Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, because we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love you have for all God's people. The faith and love that spring from the hope stored up for you in heaven and about which you have already heard in the true message of the gospel that has come to you. In the same way, the gospel is bearing fruit and growing throughout the whole world, just as it has been doing among you since the day you heard it and truly understood God's grace. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 2 through 3 says, And we give thanks to God always for, all, for you all, making mention of you in our prayers, remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ, in the sight of our God and our Father. We just wanted to read these scriptures until you're here. And this is the Apostle Paul. He's writing to three different churches. And as we, we were reading these uh, scriptures, these letters that he was writing to the people of God at these three different churches in these three different cities, I thought about y'all. Oh, my God. I was like, Paul is writing to Victory Christian Center. Yeah, yeah. Because everything that he said, you all are doing. The Bible says here in Ephesians uh, chapter 1, it says um, that he was thankful unto God for your faith. Some of y'all, we have seen over the last couple of years your faith go yeah, to a yeah, whole yeah, nother level. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you came in weaklings, now you're super Christians. Yeah, you're walking yeah. around, you're, you're boasting about your God, you're boasting yeah. about your salvation, yeah. you're not scared anymore, you're taking the word of God at face value, you're, pro you're proclaiming the word of God. We have seen, I don't know about y'all, but I, I, I feel a faith movement, I feel faith growing up That's in right. the house of That's God. Right. And, and when That's Paul right. was writing this, I said, my God, he talking about VCC. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I see the faith increasing in you. And then he goes on, and he was writing to the church at Colossians. Then he goes on and he says, in the same faith that was at Ephesus, I see in Colossians. Right. And he says, not only do you have faith, but I see you starting to love people that hated on you. Right. Amen. He started to say, I see real love coming out of people. Right. He said, it's not that, that religious love, but I see you loving your enemies. You're blessing those that persecute you. I said, wow, he's talking about Victory Christian Center. Yeah. God is doing something. Then he goes on and he talks in uh, Thessalonians about the work of their faith. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all, we don't even have to ask y'all to do anything. Y'all just pick it up. Yeah. And I said, wow. That's such and such. That's such and such. And I said, Lord, I have to read these scriptures into the people's hearing because everything that Paul was writing, you all are doing. And then he goes on to pronounce blessings over the house of God for their love, first off, for their faith, their love, and then their work in the kingdom. So y'all don't know, but y'all right here in the word, so keep doing what you're doing. God sees it, our Father sees it, and our Lord sees it. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's thank God for that right there, y'all. I think one, one of the things that I'm really grateful of is that what we have in this church, and I, it's just something that just, I don't know, it just kind of just happened, is the, the family type of atmosphere that we have. And um, I, I'm grateful for that, you know, because one of the things is that when you join, when you join, or when you are born into the kingdom of God, yes. you actually join a family. Yes. You join a family. You join, you join um, your brothers and sisters. That's why when you read the Bible, you see God uses terms like brothers and sisters in the Lord, sons and daughters, mothers and fathers. And he's talking about the spiritual connection that we have with one another. Yeah. And, you know, and, and, and that's something that I'm really grateful for in this church because a lot, a lot of you, I see a lot of you, you're really close to one another. Some of you are closer with your spiritual brothers and sisters than you are with some of your own flesh and blood. You know, because the saying goes, you know, I used to hear my grandma and them say all the time growing up, you know, blood thicker than water. You know, any of y'all, you ever used to hear your, your folks say that? Yes, you know, yes. well, if when you come into the kingdom, you find out that spirit is thicker than blood. Yes. Because, let's be honest, some of, some of the people that, that you have blood with, that you're kin to, 
uh, you ain't going to be with them in eternity. That's right. I know that's, 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 not, that's not the most comforting thing, but, but some, some of your own flesh and blood, they, you ain't going to be with them forever, but you don't have a bond with them like you have with some of the people you have in the kingdom. That's why you can run into a, a born-again believer, and it's almost like you've known them all your life. Because it's a spirit connection that you can't get anywhere else. Amen. And so I'm, I'm grateful to God for that in our church, you know, the unity that we have. I'm grateful to God for it. Amen. Um, you know, it's, it's such a blessing to my heart. Um, it makes me, it makes pastoring much easy. It makes it an easy thing. You know, um, like I say, when people try to come and bring drama, I, I tell them, quick, go and get on from around here now. Get, <laughs> take that somewhere. I, I, I will suggest for you some churches to go to. You know, I, 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 I'd give you, I escort you to some places, you know, mm -hmm. if you want to bring that stuff around here, because what we want is a loving environment, because the Bible says that God is not the author of confusion, but the enemy, he abide, wherever you see envy and strife, the devil is sitting on the throne. That's right. Wherever you see that, and that doesn't just go for a church, that goes for a business, that goes for a home. When you got envy and strife in it, the devil is having a party. He is, he, the devil is just, he's having his heyday. But yes. where there is unity, where there's peace, where there's love, where there's comfort, God is sitting on the throne. Amen. And so I'm glad tonight that God is sitting on the throne in Amen. VCC Amen. and in this church. And we ought to thank God for that on tonight. And listen, um, there's a verse, and I don't think I gave it to you guys, but there's a verse that, um, um, that, that, that I love um, from um, Psalms 133. Psalms 133. And if y'all could bring that up back there, guys. Psalms 133, and I'll read the King James Version. Let's see. Yeah, I start at verse 1. Make sure I'm able to bring it up. Okay, there we go. All right, perfect. I'm, I'm, I'm probably about able to quote it without looking, but check this out. It says, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard that went down to the skirts of his garments. And then look at verse 3. As the dew of Hermon and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of yes, Zion. Yes. For there, everybody yes. say there. there. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. If you want to know where the blessing is, it's in a place where it's unified, where there's peace, where people are together in one accord. That's where God commands the blessing. When we can get together on one accord, that's where God commands the blessing. And so tonight, we decree a blessing in this place tonight. Amen. I declare a blessing over our lives tonight. Amen. As we have exited and entered um, into another year of ministry, we're celebrating 17 years of ministry. Over everybody up under the sound of my voice, I declare a special blessing over your family's Amen. life, over your faith, over your finances, over your health, over your business, over yes. your children, over your mind, over Amen. your spirit, over your energy, over, over every part yes, of your Lord. life. I decree that there is a yes, blessing Lord. that's coming your way. Now, you ain't got to receive it, but I'm declaring Amen. it over your life tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe that in Jesus' name. So we're just, we're grateful tonight for that. And um, um, anything else you, you want to say, sweetie? I, I just want to, to, that's why I brought that scripture up, just to put it in your heart that when we're doing things for the kingdom of God and doing things to please God, he sees you. And God is not a God that forgets. He is not a God that, that just pushes it aside, but God is a God that rewards those that diligently serve and seek him. And expect the good things of God. Expect the blessings of God. If you're dwelling in unity, expect the blessings of God to overtake you. Amen. So that you can be glory for the Lord. Amen. 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 So listen, tonight our message is simply thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. We're grateful tonight. Thank, thank you. you so much. We love you guys. You guys are tremendous. We yes. love you. Thank you yes. so much for making what we do easy. So listen, and um, we got some cake for y'all tonight. We got some cake. What, what, what we got? Some cake and, cake and punch. Some cake and punch. <laughs> We're going to do it old school country way tonight. We got some cake and punch afterwards yes. that uh, we want y'all to fellowship with and uh, have a good time eating Amen. and enjoying. 
And um, again, we're, we're so grateful to God for it. Listen, Amen. the best is yet to come. We ain't seen nothing yet. God's got blessings still way ahead of us. Amen. This is only the start. This is not the ending. This is only the beginning. There's new Amen. souls to see be saved. There's new people coming into this ministry. There's new ministries coming into this ministry. There's new things we're going to see and new great things we're going to see. There's greater in store for us. And so I'm grateful to God for the night, for Amen. that tonight. There's a shift coming our way. Those yes. who are watching, there's a shift coming our way. Amen. And I'm so glad to be a part of it. So glad to be riding this wave, y'all, this Amen. shift wave. Amen. So glad for what God is doing. Let's Amen. thank the Lord one more time tonight. Yes. So, then you can, you can, so listen, we'll, um, uh, we want to we wanna pray. And, um, and um, let's do this. Let's stand to our feet. And then um, I'm going to let my wife close, um, close this portion out. Um, I thank you message out in prayer and then I'm, I'll share some yeah I announce that after we pray alright let's go before the throne and before our father father God on tonight we thank you so much God for being yes, a God Lord. of this earth and God of our lives Lord we thank you father God for calling us your children father Lord God, we thank you for saving us even while we're dying for us while we were yet sinners, God. Thank you, God, for calling us to, to your side, even though you know we've done wrong, God. We thank you for the precious blood of Jesus Christ that cleansed us and made us righteous, God. We thank you, Lord God. We, we just thank you, Jesus, for loving us enough to go to Calvary's cross, to see uh, beyond our faults, God, and see what you purposed us to be, Father. We thank you, Lord God, for calling us from Lake City and High Springs, Stark and Gainesville. We thank you for calling us from Providence and Rayford and, and Pleasant Grove and different parts of this area to this ministry, God. Father God, we are yours, Lord. Use us for your glory, God. Lord God, we want your name to be glorified in all the earth, God. Wherever we go to work, God, we want somebody to know that we're Jesus lovers, God. Wherever we go to school, God, we want someone to know that we're Jesus lovers, God. And the same Jesus that loved us loves them, God. Father God, use us, God. Use our talents. Use our gifts, God. God. I pray, God, that you will bring up a mighty nation through these teachers, God. I thank you, Lord God, for every Sunday school teacher, every children's church teacher, God. I thank you, God, for their labor in the kingdom, God. I thank you for the next generation of Jesus lovers, God, that are coming up because of their labor, Lord. Father God, I thank you for every worker in this ministry. Oh, Father God, I thank you for everything that they do, God. Bless them mightily, God. I pray for my pastor right now, God. Lord God, lift him up, Lord Jesus. Strengthen him, Lord God, in his mind, body, and spirit, God. Father God, thank you for the favor that rests upon his life, God. Thank you for the anointing that rests upon his life, God. And Father God, as it rests upon him, it will flow down to us, God. Thank you for meeting every need in this place, God, healing every heart, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you for our children that are next door, God. Bless them, God. Use them mightily in your kingdom. And this is our prayer on tonight. In Jesus' name, we all say, Amen. Come on, if Amen. you love your church, let's thank God tonight. Amen. Listen, y'all be seated. Just got a couple of things to share, and then we're going to be gone. Um, Minister, uh, Minister Ella wanted me to share um, that after service, um, just for a few minutes, she needs to give some information was about the Palm Sunday skit. Our kids are going to be doing a skit. Um, for Palm Sunday, and she wants to give you some information. Uh, Palm Sunday is not this Sunday, but I think, it's, is it the following Sunday, the second Sunday? It's the second Sunday, and she wants to give you some information about stuff that they're going to be doing and how she needs you to help them out.